Scorpio. This y'all weekly message. I was shuffling. These two came out before I go over them. We're gonna ground. But we do have Whoa Baby by Pop Smoke featuring Chris Brown. Pop Smoke was a cancer. Chris Brown is a Taurus. So you could be dealing with either one of those signs. We got it in the chart. Let's ground. You drive somebody crazy, Scorpio. Or they drive you crazy. And you like your good old yellow bone. And they thinking about dicking you down. And they said they gonna last. They said the first round may not be too good, but that second round. You better watch out. So you just say kissing on the neck. So it got secret union. It says honor and treasure your relationship. For it is truly sacred. Deep in your heart you already know the answers. Do what feels right. So that's telling you Scorpio. Might be making you a baby. I got a baby on the way. Oh, somebody ready to apologize. So that's that spirit baby. I split the deck. That's hard for them baby. So you got a commitment and a baby on the way. It's written in the stars, baby. This is what this reunion will be bringing. This sacred reunion, 505 on the clock, will be bringing a baby. Commitment. Something long term. Something stable. That happily ever after. Magic by lucky days. See? Right one out. This is karma going in your fate. Going in your fate. Going in your favor. So this is fated for this to happen. Whatever's coming up, we got brighter days coming, happy days coming. You was obsessing over something, partying too much, not getting enough sleep, not being healthy, not not making healthy decisions, not eating right, overexerting yourself, not drinking your water. And we know we gotta drink our water. We have to meditate. Could be dealing with a Leo. That's a high priestess. This Leo is very intuitive. Or maybe you've been stressed out about a Leo. You stressed out about a Leo when look trying to heal. Us. Nine of swords, I mean, nine of um, wands and tempers. So, you're trying to achieve adversity, you're trying to overachieve this relationship, you're trying to heal this relationship. You've been trying to balance out the scales. You could be dealing with a Libra, or you could be dealing with another fire sign. Well, this person that you're dealing with, you're ready. You see them as an angel. You need to work on opening up your root chakra. Doing some yoga to open up your root chakra. Doing some yoga. So balance your chakras out. Six of coins. As I say, balance your chakras out. The six of coins come in. So it's time for you to balance out your chakras love on yourself be generous to yourself it's okay give love to yourself you could have manifested something around the full moon something with a leo could have been manifested around the full moon you got the two of swords so you've been trying to make a difficult decision or somebody that's been in a heartbreaking situation, or you didn't heartbreak somebody, or somebody heartbroke you, 
Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Somebody has been sneaky. Somebody was in a third party situation. Or somebody now knows the truth. Somebody now sees the truth. And it was hurt and wounded from this love. It was hurt and wounded from this love. So they're trying to balance out the scales. They're trying to be patient. Trying to heal themselves after being hurt. Trying to heal themselves after a sneaky decision was made. Somebody was being sneaky. Somebody was being deceptive. Someone is gaining the strength to move forward. To balance out the skills with themselves. They're moving away from manipulative people. They're moving away from toxic people. They're moving away from sneaky, lying people. People that hurt them. People that was not coming in their higher self. Strength card. Definitely dealing with a Leo. But you are confident that you will be achieving this. Eight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody you don't want to leave. Somebody that you don't want to walk away from. Somebody that you scared to leave. You don't want it to be over. Even though there was some sneakiness. Some sneaky patterns. Hearts was broken. Lies was told. Somebody been watching you. As they try to make a decision. They've been strategically watching you from a distance. Because they want to build with you. They want to grow with you. Can I? Kalani? They think about sex in you too. They say it's just so good it ought to be illegal. And this person want to come in and love you down. They want to come and show you love. They want to wave their white flag. They want this, told you, new passionate beginning. They want to give you that stick. They ready to break you back in. Yeah, they coming in unexpectedly for this new passionate start with you. And that's the truth. This person has gained clarity. They know that they, you are their star. They've been watching you and they see and admire you because they see how you shine. They see how you've been loving on yourself. They see how you've been focusing on yourself and how trying to get your align those chakras. You've been trying. <coughs> <clears throat> you're trying to heal this connection because you see this person as your star you feel vulnerable around this person you feel mushy around this person you feel weak in the knees this person makes you weak they are your kryptonite could be an Aries that want to build with you and grow with you. That's ready to go the mile or the extra mile for you. They're ready to show you their love. They're ready to heal this connection. They want this new passion to begin. They want to be honest with you. They want to be truthful with you. They want to give you the clarity that you deserve and you desire. And they're ready to... Um, excuse me. Confirmation. They're ready to... Take this new leap of faith, this journey. Somebody is having a change in their money, change in their stability. I'm hearing a streak of bad luck, but you got a new beginning coming. You have good news coming. An end of a tough cycle. Can't make it up. King of Wands. And the Ace of Coins. You got the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. The only thing having came out is the Ace of Cups. You got 
got the Hermit and the Two of Wands. So you moving forward, and you was doing some soul searching, and look was back at the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups. So you have an apology coming from this person. They're ready to be vulnerable with you. They're ready to be honest with you. They're ready to be open with you. They're ready to come to you and express how they truly feel. Me and my bitch, Jaheem. Jaheem is a Gemini. They on some Bonnie and Clyde type shit. They looking for a rider and they see you as they being their rider. They see you as being their happily ever after. See, just say you're my ghetto queen, you're my team. This person hasn't even thought of marriage with you. In the midst of it all, Yolanda Adams, which is a Virgo. Ain't no way Aretha Franklin is an Aries. But y'all do have a sacred union coming that's gonna allow you to be vulnerable, allow you to let your guard down, allow you to love this person, and this person loves you equally. This person is ready to speak their truth. They're still a little guarded, they're still a little defensive, but this person is ready to speak up and be honest. This person will have your back. Eight and four. Four, four, four. Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Taurus, Pisces. It can be any of these signs. All the information y'all need is below. Thank y'all for my new subscribers. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for booking with me. If y'all need anything, all the information is below. Y'all be easy. Stay safe.